All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we like to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to you, Akim, out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, we just want to um, admonish brothers, you know what I'm saying, Akim, you know, that's in his truth, man. You know what I'm saying? To get your fucking. Um, your thumbs out your ass, man, and get and, and get it cracking, man. Get popping, get it popping, man. Okay, it's time to do this work, man. Okay, it's time to do this work, man. All right, and um, you, you, you want to start with the first Corinthians? Yeah, this is uh, first Corinthians chapter nine and uh, verse six. First Corinthians nine and sixteen. It says, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Right, necessity is laid upon us, man. Because uh, necessity, that yeah, means you need something, man. And what we need, man, we need is salvation, man. We need salvation, man. We need redemption, man. We need forgiveness, man. Okay? And the only way we're going to obtain that or have any chance of obtain that is by doing this work, man, pushing this word, man. Okay? All right? So the Most High is basically giving us a, a, ch a chance right now, man. The doors of repentance is open, man. And you got a lot of Jake that's in this, uh, supposedly in this troop, man, that's in these camps that's, that's been playing in their ass, man. Sitting around, ain't been doing the work, man. Ain't uh, putting their job above uh, uh, or doing this work, man. Well, Yahweh Shai said, man, he said, render unto Caesar that which is Caesar, man. And render unto Yahweh Shai that is uh, Yahweh what is his, man. So, hey, man, if you do got a job, man, okay, yeah, you take care of that, man. But if it get in the way of this work, man, what did the prophets say, man? They, uh, when Yahweh Shai came to the prophets, man, what was that, um, when they left their nets? Straightway they left their nets. Mm -hmm. that, that was a straightway. That was, uh, Peter and, uh, Peter and, uh, his brother, I believe it's Andrew. Peter and Andrew. Mm -hmm. You know what that said? Yeah, I look for it. Okay. So, hey, man, that's what it is, man. Your job is not going to get you salvation, man. Your job is not above this work, man. That's right. Okay? Because you got a job that's interfering with you doing this work, man. You're supposed to, you supposed to uh, quit that job and then get another job, man. Where's your faith at, man? And, but it's, it's around the time, man. Because all this admonishment, man, it, it's starting to, it's starting to uh, get redundant now, man. It's starting to get redundant, man. It's time for niggas. It's time for the niggas to go, man. It's time, man. If you don't want to do this work, man, then get, then then move around, man. It's about that time, man. Okay, I'm gonna find that uh, scripture for you. I think I got. It. You got it. This is uh Mark one, and I'm gonna start at sixteen. Now, as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishing. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. Right, man. So they had a job, man. Probably was pretty lucrative. You know what I'm saying? Hey, even Yahweh Shah, man, left his, uh, his job, man, to, to, for his ministry, man. So the scripture say the servant is not above his Lord, man. So 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 you above the Lord, man. You in a position where you can put 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 your put working for the white man, Esau above doing this work, man. Y'all better quit playing in y'all ass, man. From top to bottom, man. From top to bottom. Hey, this goes out for everybody that's supposed to be in this truth, man. This ain't I'm not just talking to the cadets and privates, man. I'm talking to, to, to brothers from the top to the bottom, man. I'm talking to myself, first and foremost. Okay? You got something? Yeah, well, if you got a couple scriptures down here, if you can grab um, 
Zephaniah 1 and 12. Now I grab Mark 4. Because the thing is, man, pretty much how the brother uh, 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 came in on the introduction, you know, it's time to eat, man. It, as he as he said, man, it's time to get your thumbs out your ass, man. You know, it's time it's time to do this work, man. The order came down, the decree came down from y'all by Sham Yahweh two videos a week, man. And, and and it's not hard, man. It's not hard. This 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 this, this knowledge is um living water, man. It should it shouldn't be hard to make two videos a week, man. A three minute video, five minute video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, brother just sent a uh, 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 the brother Kordar Shapat, you know, hey, hey, shout out to that brother because he stays shooting out them articles, you know what I'm saying? And um, brother sent me an article and I watched it, you know, about uh, pretty much it's, it's a flood out in China, you know what I'm saying? Where where shit getting washed away out there, they getting fucking like a month worth of rain or some shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and you can relate to the scriptures on that, man. You can do a simple lesson on that, man. You know. Where the, where the scriptures speak about the seas warring, the perplexing of the people. You know, go to Matthew 24, you know, 2nd Edris 9, because the, the prophecies are speaking right now. So, so, so it should be, it should be easy to do two videos a week. You know, it's, there's so, so many topics you can speak on, you know. This is, um, I got this up. Con, con, I got you in a hot minute. This is Mark 4, and I'm going to start at verse... 21, I'm going to get straight to the point. And he said unto them, Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed and not to be set on a candlestick? You know? And you're 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 that candle, man, with the light burning, with the, which is this knowledge. And it's supposed to be set on top of that hill, man. It's supposed to be set on a candlestick, giving light to the whole house, man. Not hid under a bushel. You know? Here's the same. We are the light of the world. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Zephaniah chapter uh, 1 and 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. Right. So it says uh, I will search Jerusalem with candles, man. That's with this knowledge, you know. And, and, and we're, we're the men that's, that's going through searching, man. Well, actually, we ain't actually searching. It's the knowledge, man. We just we just out there doing a the job that y'all by Shami Shah told us to do, man. Go ahead, brother. That say in their heart, Yahweh will not do good, neither will he do evil. And that's and that's you two third niggas, man, that settled on their leaves. That's comfortable here in this goddamn place, man. You know, the same ones that uh um that says in uh second second Peter, the third chapter, where it reads that uh since the fathers fell asleep, everything went on as as it, as it say. You know, as it says in Ezekiel 12, that 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 proverb. That uh that that's going on in Israel. Hey, but the Lord said He make it. He gonna make a a a, a, a cease, man, an end to that proverb, man. It ain't no longer um every every vision faileth and all that bullshit. No, the Lord gonna bring it to pass, man. This is the time. Habakkuk the second chapter says um. I got it right here. Go ahead, brother. This is Ezekiel twelve and twenty two. Son of man. What is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying, the days are prolonged and every vision faileth? Right, and that's a proverb in uh, 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 in Israel, man, amongst amongst you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead, brother. Tell them, therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it. It as a proverb in Israel, right? And the, and the reason, and the reason uh, uh, y'all say this proverb is because of this. This is Habakkuk two and three. It says, "For the vision is yet for an appointed time." You know, so when the uh, uh, the prophecies was given, it was an appointed time set for these prophecies. So y'all like, oh man, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. But certain things had to happen before these prophecies had to pop off. For example, like the internet being uh, 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 created, that had to happen before this uh, before the end come, man. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And now we seeing these prophecies speaking, man. So that's how the Lord putting the, the end to that proverb. It says, though it tarry, wait for it, right? So though it tarry, so though it be prolonged, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. 
because y'all by showing y'all shot got everything set in its proper uh, order, so so it all can play out smoothly, man. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna read that again. Tell um uh, tw uh 23 Ezekiel 12 and 23. Tell them therefore, thus save you how power. I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them. The days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. <laughs> and that's plain, man. Y'all about Shemi Awashah is going to make good his word that he spoke. Isaiah the 55th chapter says what? That the, uh, the Lord's word will not come back void, man. It shall go out and accomplish whatever, uh, whithersoever he pleases, man. In Numbers, I believe it's the, the 23rd chapter, it says that the Most High is not a man that he should lie, man. So everything he said will get accomplished, man. It will happen. Look, um, uh, I'm looking for, uh, what does it say? The breach ready to fall? Uh, well, while you looking for that, I got a, uh, I'm going to jump over to Mark 8 and uh, 16, which says, Um, I might be Luke 8 and 16. So lock your brothers. This is Luke 8 and 16, which says, No man, when he hath lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, and putteth it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. So the brothers that coming into this truth, man, they gotta, they got, they gotta see that light shining, man. You know, how, how, how can look, man? Romans, 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 the tenth chapter. Grab this real fast. This is Romans ten, and um, I'm gonna start at verse thirteen. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And and us in the know whosoever among Israelites that call upon the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Because the, the name of Yahweh Basham Yahushai is dreadful among the heathen. So, so if it's dreadful among them and they won't have faith in their name, then how can they call on the name in order to be saved? So it's not for a heathen. It's talking to the Israelites. Verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? So you must be out there doing his work, man. You got to occupy till he come, as Yahweh Shah said, man. It says, verse 15, And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And that's what we're doing, man. The gospel means good news, man. We're bringing the good news of the kingdom, man. The kingdom is at hand. In Matthew, the fifth chapter, Yahweh Shah told the disciples what? Go ye out and preach, and as ye go, say that the uh, the kingdom is at hand, man. And that's what we're saying. This is Luke chapter 14 and 16. Then said he unto them, A certain man made a great supper, and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come. For all things are now ready. You know? And uh, that, that reminds me of the scripture, I believe, in Proverbs when it says, uh, Wisdom has. Uh, has Probably, yeah, the ninth chapter, Proverbs has, 9. She has slayed her beasts. She yeah. has uh, hewn out her seven pillars. Yep. Basically, she prepared a meal, man. And that's what we're doing uh, spiritually, man. You know? Um, you can break it down. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start again. Luke chapter 14, 16. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many. Mm -hmm. And said, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. Yep. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. Yep, and that's how much you guys is making excuses to do this work, man. The great man is Yahweh Shah, man. Go ahead, brother. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of a piece of ground, and I might and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee have me excused. Right. So he used his work as an example, man. 
Because he got to go see that piece of land, man. So he got to go till the ground and make sure it's good land. That's, that's an excuse. Go ahead. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I, and, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. The same thing, man, his job. You know, five oxen, I got to go prove them. You know? Go ahead, brother. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. <laughs> we, can't, we, we can't forget the niggas that uh, use their fucking woman as an excuse. So these is all motherfuckers who came in the truth, but they, they had an excuse not to do the work, man. Go ahead. So that servant came and shewed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And that's what we're doing, man. Go out there quick in the streets and the lanes, out there on the highways and the byways doing his work. Then Yahweh Shah said, uh, they that behold need not out of position, but those that are sick. So those are the the the, uh, the, the weak, the lame, and the main, man. Go ahead. Uh, can, I, can I say something? Go ahead, brother. And uh, also, man, you know, that, that also reminds me uh, of the scripture with, uh, when uh, the dude, it was one guy, he was basically asking the Lord, you know, what do I got to do to uh, make it to the kingdom of heaven? He basically told me, he's like, man, you got to throw away everything that you have, man. I mean, you got to give away all your uh, possessions, man. And he ain't want to do that shit, man. Okay? That's why our scriptures say, man, lay not treasures up in uh, uh, earth, man, but up in heaven, man. Okay? All right? Uh, 22. And the servant said, Lord, it, it is done. As thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out in the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. Mm -hmm. And compel them to come in. That's why we out there doing, man. Compelling you to come in. Then Paul says, uh, 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 Through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. And we let you know that it, 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 first off, if you don't repent, and acknowledge your power, acknowledge your nationality, who you are, return back to the law, statutes, and commandments, right? That you're going to fucking die. And also, to the brothers that send the truth, that if you don't continue to do this work, continue to push, don't the scripture say he that endureth until the end? It don't say he that endureth for two years, for three years, for ten years, for fifteen years, man. The, didn't y'all wish I say the, um, uh, when he come back? Blessed is that man that he finds so doeth that watch it daily at my gates, man. Right. So when Yahweh shall return, you gotta be found doing this work, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, they say in the Exodus movie, uh, the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> 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 the power of the Lord compels you, man. We ain't gonna use Christ, man. That's how you I see shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but the power of the Lord compels you, man. That's right. Hey, man, knowing the terror of Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shah, we persuade men, man. Yep. Okay, man? You know? Yep. Uh, I'm going to read that again. And and the Lord said unto, unto the servant, go out in the highways and hedges and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall mm -hmm. taste of my supper. Hey, it goes back to many are called, but few are chosen, man. So all you niggas that make an excuse not to do this work, it's all good. Those five versions, man. You know, it's all good. Because in that day, hey, in that day, what, what, what the Lord said it, man. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, didn't we, didn't we cast out devils in our name? No, it's Matthew 25. Uh, so, 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 the, so the Lord gonna tell your ass, I have not known you. Get from me, man. And that's a scary thing, man. And that should compel brothers <laughs> right. to continue to do this, man. Matthew 25. Come. To have y'all, to have y'all, what I say, man? I have not known thee, man. That's some fearful shit, man. I, 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 I'm holding that's something right here. Yeah, real fast. This is a. Uh, uh, Luke 11 and uh, verse 33, because the Lord keep repeating itself, man. It says, no man, when he had lighted a candle, put it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. 
The light of the body is the eye. So I'm on your mind. Therefore, when thy eye is single, meaning your mind is focused on one thing. Tunnel vision. And that's doing his work. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. That's the focus, man. Hey. They show you that in uh, movie 300, man, when uh, Leonidas had to throw that spear at Xerxes, man. He had that town of tunnel vision, man. So you had fucking arrows flying everywhere. His men was whacking people, and it was a whole battle going on. But he was just focused on dude. He just had to make that one throw, man. Yep. You know? Yep. Verse 34 again, it says, The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thy eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thy eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness, right? If thy whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright, it's like it says, as when the bright shining of a candle doeth, giveth the light. So that's the candles that's going through Jerusalem, man, that's searching. You know, as it says in uh, what, Ezekiel 9 and 4, the men that sigh and that cry for the abominations that are done in the midst thereof, man. You know, hey, the scripture says confession is made to salvation, man. So you have to be out here confessing the name of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, man. Right, because Yahweh Shah, because, hey, like the scripture we brought out earlier, necessity is laid upon us. We need Yahweh Shah to vouch for us, man. That's right. We need Yahweh Shai. Cause we, man, look, man, for you Old Testament Israelites, man, <laughs> the Lord, the, the Lord is not, the Most High Yahweh, the Supreme Yahweh is not coming to get you, man. All right? He's not coming to get your ass, man. All right? Uh, you got, yeah, one more, one more. This is Matthew 5 and 14. It says, Ye are the light of the world. So you're supposed to be the light. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid man so we supposed to be on that hilltop man with our light shining man giving light unto the whole world right neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick and it giveth light unto all that are in the house verse 16 let your light so shine before men read that again let your light so shine before men meaning you must be seen doing this work man men must see that light on you man yeah, man, and, and, and look, man, sit down and only go for so far, man. The scriptures say go out to the highways and byways, present your body as a living sacrifice, man. That's right. So, hey, hey, that keyboard Israelite shit ain't finna fl float either, man. All right? Oh, yeah, I, 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 I do sit down, but you ain't coming out to the line, man. Okay? You I mean, do. it goes back to what you read. Go to the streets and the lanes, the highways and byways, and compel them to come in. It goes hand in hand, it's like it, brother. I mean, it's all good, you know. Hey, man. So, hey, man. All, all, hey, so, hey, man. So, for so for you guys that's that's not showing up to camp because of a job, okay? Hey, man. That that that. that hey, what you gonna? You think you how a shot want to hear that shit, man? Hmm. Hey, man. This ain't about me. This ain't about the, the apostle to her. This ain't about the apostles. You got it. Hey, man. You ain't gonna be able to. What you gonna say to Yahweh Shai, man, in that day, man? Y'all playing in y'all ass, man. Okay? And like the apostle said, man, it's 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 high ranking brothers, man, that ain't that ain't fucking living up to what they should be doing, man. And it just is what it is, man. Playing in your fucking ass, man. Um, uh, I got I got one. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this up real okay, fast. Uh back in 16, Matthew 5, 16, let your light so shine before men. That they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Right? They gotta see you out there, man. Okay? They gotta see you doing. Hey man, even the two-thirds got that rule, man. Uh fucking uh, uh it was a song by G Herbo. He said, I ain't heard nothing about you. Nigga, you ain't put in no work, you ain't shot nobody. You ain't... Hey, even two-thirds got that, man. <laughs> They got to know you out there doing some wicked shit, man. <laughs> All right? Hey, man. That's why, hey, that's why I supposed to say, man, I'd rather you be uh, cold or hot, man. The Lord said that, man. I'd rather you be cold or hot, man. 
You know, I'd rather you be all the way in this truth or just be a nigga, man. Go in the world, man. All right? Uh, it's 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and 20, uh, 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all? Uh, but one receiveth, but one receiveth the uh, prize, so run that ye may obtain. Read it again. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, mm -hmm. so run that ye may obtain. Right, so run that ye may obtain, man. You running for your prize, man. You running for the first place. You know. Y'all about show me how Shah Rocks ought to be a, a, a part of a, a, that 144,000, that ruling class, man. But you pull, but you bullshit, you jogging. You know, you jogging. You know I think about, man, that Adam Sandler movie when that fat ass dude was in that race, man. And he was racing. <laughs> he had a whole bunch of skinny ass Ethiopians next to this fat ass Edomite, bro. Hey, they throwing them, they throwing them bottles of waters and shit. They throwing his ass gallons of chocolate milk and shit. This motherfucker was still running though. And this fat ass ended up running, man. And winning the race, man. <laughs> Hey, this thing at the scripture say the race is not given to the quicker the swift, man. I mean, of course, you got levels to this thing, man. You got some brothers that's on a deeper level. You got some brothers that's on a lower level. But like the brother said earlier, man, you could do a sit down about anything, man. You could do a damn two minute sit down about one scripture, man, and, and just and just break it down, man. Hey, you 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 can name it a, a, a motivational series or something. Just read none but scriptures to motivate brothers. You know what I'm saying? There's so many scriptures in here that that, that talks about the kingdom and the and, 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 and the glory that the elect was going to receive, man. Mm -hmm. You know, your video can can fucking motivate any uh, any brother in it, man. Just hearing that one scripture can make somebody day, man. Yep. You never know who's watching, man. Yep. I've learned that from being in this truth, man. Uh, for just for the little time I've been in here, man. You know, my little few seconds in the truth. <laughs> you know. All right, man. Cause man, Joe. Hey. You know what I'm saying? You never know who's watching, who's being edified by you, man. You might, you might be able to die, to uh, break something down in a way that only certain some people can understand. It's 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 maybe a way that I could break some things down that that other brothers can't get it. You know what I'm saying? But other brothers do. So every so everybody in this body is important, man. We need all. Hey, hey, that's why the scriptures say, pray that Yahweh by Shem Yashah sent for laborers, man. The harvest is plenty, but the laborers is few, man. Okay? I'll read this again. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. So run that ye may obtain, man. So work, man. When you running, you exerting yourself. You know? So exert yourself, man. Don't they say in Baruch that since it was your mind to go astray? Now being returned, seek him ten times more. Hey, cause they, I mean, I, I man, I, I guess, I guess niggas don't feel like they, 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 they are wicked or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause me personally, I feel like I was a wicked ass nigga, man. Hey, Yahweh Shah gave the uh, the parable, right? He said there was a a, a certain uh, a debtor who had a uh, um, uh, two two debtees. One owed him five hundred, another owed him what? I think it was fifty, and they didn't have it to pay. So man, you know what? He forgave them both. So yeah, I wish I asked. Uh, I believe dude was a Pharisee, if I'm not mistaken, but he asked him, uh, uh, which one of these men would love that master more, man? And he said, well, shit, the one, the one that forgave more. So if you feel you was an extra wicked ass nigga in the world, and the Lord gave you an opportunity to atone for your sins, and it's true, you should go fucking that much more harder, man. Cause I feel like I'm the guy with uh, the, the fucking 500 pence, so I got more to pay back, man. Yeah. I guess you guys feel like shit. They ain't even the one with 50, cause the one at 50 love him too. He doing that. I guess they feel like they are 10, 10, 20 percent, 10, three. I all ain't on three dollars. They ain't. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what, man? Y'all, y'all, y'all. That's in this truth, man. That's supposedly in the truth, so called in the truth, or whatever the fuck. Y'all don't know what y'all got, man. That's what it is, man. Y'all know what y'all got, man. Y'all got a chance for salvation, man. And, and and you supposed to be running with it, man. Hey, man. It's just like when you a little kid, man. Hey, uh, and and, and you think you about to come? You think you about to get your ass whooped, right? One of your uh, one of your brothers, your sister, tell you, uh, 
Dad said come in the house. You like, damn, oh, you think about all the shit that you did to fuck up today. You're like, oh shit, I'm about to get my ass whooped. Then he come, he yell at you a little bit. And he say, all right, take your ass back outside. You tear ass outside because you just thought you was about to get your ass whooped. That's the same mentality you're supposed to have, and it's true, man. Okay? Hey, that's why women, hey, you can have a woman, hey, women, uh, women leave, man, uh, 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 leave you, man. Okay, if they not getting no attention, man. If you're not showing them no time, they'll be like, hey, man, you, hey, you ain't, you, you ain't, uh, you ain't been spending no time with me. And then they'll leave you, man. I mean, that's wicked as hell, but that shit happens, man. That's the same thing with this truth, man. Hey, it's wisdom. Wisdom a woman. Right. If you ain't, if, I mean, <laughs> you ain't know what you had, you ain't know what you had when you had it. Oh, uh, you ain't appreciate what you had when you had it. You ever had a nigga woman? A nigga I mean, woman because I mean, say that to you, the man. scriptures tell you that. <laughs> What's that? Um, First Corinthians, the seventh chapter, I believe, where it tells you to, uh, not to defraud each other, yeah. but come back together. You know what I'm saying? So, you, so y'all be not tempted. So, shit, you got to do benevolence with your wife, with your physical wife. Yeah. Right. So, how much more you should do benevolence with these scriptures? Because wisdom is a woman, man. If you ain't applying and, and showing her attention, she'll leave your ass, man. You call it, you cause her to commit adultery, as, as uh, First Corinthians said, man. If you uh, 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 defraud her of, uh, of the needs you're supposed to give her. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Mm -hmm. I therefore so run, not as uncertain, certainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. All right, fighting against nothing, man. <laughs> yeah. Fighting against fucking nothing, man. Hey, man, because when you, hey, man, when you fight, man, you want to make your hits count, man. Are you, but are you fighting? Right. That's the question. That's shit. the question. Are you fighting, man? Hey, because I, like, like me and the brother was talking about a while ago, man. Now, you might have a whole bunch of guys. One dude who got a bazooka, one got an AK, you know what I'm saying, one in a tank. And one got a little 22 with like seven bullets in it and shit, right? He just, they blowing up shit. Doo -doo 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 -doo. He just, pew, pew. Right on Harlem night. <laughs> right? They Stop shooting that little ass, ass shit, right? Look at that. his ass. <laughs> All right? Now, if you do got that little 22, man, put that shit to work, man. Precision. Make sure you make sure them bullets count, man. Yep. That's what, what he's saying, man, about not one that beat it the air, man. You throwing all wild ass punches, man, but you, you missing and shit. You throwing all this effort into these punches. Would, would have been a haymaker, but you missing. <laughs> okay? Man, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got another one in the picture. You got something. Um, this is uh, Math Matthew chapter 25 and 1. Then shall the kingdom of the heaven be likened unto ten virgins. Which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Key word, they took their lamps, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. That goes back to that light again, right? Go ahead. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. Mm -hmm. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Right. With no oil, man. So so, so, so they had an empty vessel, man. That's all it was. Fucking empty vessel, man. Because when you, when you know about them old school lamps, uh, when the fire burning, oil is what makes the fire burn. If you run out of oil, that fire will eventually go out, man. Right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. But the wise took oil in their vessels. But the, the the wise took the oil to keep that fire burning. Which with hey, the oil is these scriptures, the uh, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, man. Go ahead, brother. But the wise took the oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. The bridegroom cometh. Mm -hmm. Go ye out to meet him. The bridegroom is uh, speaking of Yahweh Shah. Hey, and uh, another thing that makes me think about when it says uh, uh, his servant, shall, his master shall come at a time when he uh, does not expect him, man. Okay? Hey, then not then Yahweh Shah say, I'm coming as a thief in the night? That's when he said they was he came at midnight, man. His <laughs> mind he just come in like let me see what these little bitches doing, man. <laughs> these little broads, man. Let's see what they are doing. You know what I mean? It's like if you got kids, man, you like catching them off guard. Like 
You hear, you know when they, they doing some bad shit when the room get quiet and shit. <laughs> they doing they doing some uh catch a girl, freak a girl type shit, you know what I'm saying? Alright? <laughs> you know? That's catching you with your pants down, alright? Um I'm gonna start at uh five again. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Mm -hmm. Then all those virgins rose, arose, and trimmed their lamps. Right. Now, when you trim the lamps, basically you turn the lamp up. You know that fire got brighter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they trimmed their lamps. So, so, the, so the fire got hotter, man. Like it says in Jeremiah, when he said uh, uh, this word is like a fire shut up in my bones, man. Got through. Go ahead, bro. You know? Hey, man. Hey, man. Let me say something about that, too. Because it's time to lift up the head, man. All right? The special ask scripture says, uh, uh, lift up your head, man. Okay? Lift up your head right now, man. You know, basically, your, 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 redemption, uh, your, your redemption drop now, man. Did not thy enemies lift up their head and make a tumult when they saw they had the opportunity to take us down? Now we see them going down, and now it's time for us to rise up and lift up our head now, man. Okay? Hey, you remind me that uh that 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 what Cat Williams said about that lion and shit? How <laughs> you talking about the motherfucker uh dropped the baby in the lion's den? He's like, nigga, this is not a drill. <laughs> the lion is backed up like shit, I'm about to kill this one. Hey, it's time for the line to rise up now, man. This is not a drill, man. This is this is not a drill, man. Esau is going down, man. It's time to kick in high gear, man. We in the time that the prophets been talking about, man. Didn't they, the scriptures say that the, you live in the times that the prophets wish they could have seen, man? We here now, man. Okay? I'm going to read uh, 6 again. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us your oil. Right. Because when it was time to trim their lamps, that fire went out, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't have no oil for the fire to burn brighter. There was nothing in there. That fire went out. So now they want to come and get the oil. Now they want to come and, and, and learn. You know, now they want to study and shit, right? Right, man. But at first your job, but your job, but your job was hindering you from doing all that. Now all of a sudden y'all was showing this way. Now you want to act like you've been doing it the whole fucking time, man. Yeah. <laughs> and the, can I say something real quick? It remind me that uh, it was this one movie. I don't remember exactly what it was. Basically, you had uh, Big Trouble in Little China, right? With Kurt Russell, man. You had this Chinese homie that knew all the karate moves, right? He basically beat up everybody's ass, right? And then by the time fucking Kurt Russell got there, everybody's ass whoop, was whooped. He, he told him, yeah, yeah, that's why we whooped y'all ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stand over the niggas. And the Chinese man did all the ass whooping, man. <laughs> and then your ass going to come in later and talk about, yeah, that's what y'all get, man. <laughs> you don't want to be that nigga, man, all right? Right? <laughs> 